Hi everybody and welcome to Frank's 3D Shop. In this video, I assembled my new Prusa MK3S printer. You can follow along in the Prusa assembly instructions. I give you some of my tricks to make it easier for you. Another excellent resource is the online manual from Prusa. See the link below. If you have a problem on a step, read the comments for that section. They can be very handy. Chapter 4 z-axis assembly same tools now we need the parts for number four warning print part printed parts aren't the same there's a left and a right piece See the picture. Also note that the correct orientation of the frame Prusa logo must be facing towards you. So Prusa logo facing me. It says left here. R here. 6M310. Place the printed parts next to the frame, like in the picture. Okay. Don't use excessive strength during tightening. So same thing as everything else. What I do is I'm bringing the screws just out a little. Just proud of the part. This helps finding the holes. It's gonna stop moving. So this is the right on the right. Tighten them just a bit, not too much force. Same thing here, and find the holes, screw it in. You can back off a little if it doesn't go in, and then tighten just, just a bit. Next step, two Z motors. So each one has a different length. Remove the trapezoid nut. Don't throw them away. And screw in the Z screw covers. Okay, you have, you have to force them a little. Cover should be screwed fully to the motor, but not too tight. Just the motor has to move freely. If it's too too close, your ear hit. I don't know if you can move here. Is it like a s -s -s stop. That's a little too close. Too, too close. No. Nothing. Perfect. Next one, if it's flat like this, you just hold the nut and then force it in and afterward it goes in easily. Same thing, not too close, but close. There is a little gap. And the other one, I think it's the same. Just a little gap. The two motors and eight M310. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. See the second picture. The motor with the shorter cable, red arrow, here, is on the left. And the other one with the longer cable is on the right. Motor cables must be oriented toward the frame. Okay, so the smaller cable on the left, the longer cable on the right, and the cable must be facing the frame. So, uh, let's, let's insert them. And then move them in the correct position. And there's a small cutout, cutout underneath for the cable to go, to go through. Okay, secure each motor with four screws. Again, it's it's easier with the ball end. X key. 
because you can go on an angle here's the, the tip so I'm gonna that's it next step the two nuts we removed previously to 18 long no 418 m318 screws four nuts turn the axis turn the x axis here is the x axis upside down and insert the nuts into the traps on both ends same thing as before and use the x key to bring the nut in and keep it there then use the pliers to help push it in. There it is. Okay. Same thing with the other one. everything this way and do the other side okay that's it so I will keep this like that so that this nut doesn't come out insert the trapezoid nut on each end and screw in thing on the other side and tighten everything you will see that the nut will go in further now it's enough same thing for the other one inside It. We need two smooth rods, so the last two. Okay, be very careful while installing the X axis on the trapezoid lead screws. The process should be smooth, otherwise, you might damage the threads inside the plastic nut. Reseat axis if necessary. Carefully slide the X axis on the trapezoid, 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 trapezoidal lead screw. Okay, so the motor goes left. So I move this, I wiggle this a bit. So this should be parallel to the smooth rod. So no force is needed. So if you if you need force, you're, something is wrong. And then it goes in easily. Let's see if there is something in the hole. something a small bit of plastic or something let's undo this yeah there is some fine I don't know if you see it good I'm just gonna small air and they printed the part yeah. almost nothing but it's get if it gets in the threads can cause a problem. Okay, try again. Yeah, it's still a bit easier on this side than this side, but it's better now. So they say that you move this up, and then you look to have this parallel to this. Then you insert the smooth rods very gently and it sometimes helps if you turn it a bit and make sure you don't push away balls and you have to go through two bearings. 
If you see balls coming out, it's not a good sign. Get a new bearing. Same thing on the other side, it should go in easily and there is already grease inside the bearings. Then you must push in the smooth rods in the slot on the motor mount on each side. Make sure they are inserted completely. The last four screws and two pieces, the left and the right. Insert the smaller hole on the smooth rod and the bigger on the lead screw. Push in gently, should hold up on its own. Same thing on the other side. It needs to be flush here, then screw in with the M310 screws. Last step, compare the look from the picture to what you've done. The cables are on the right side, everything seems to be the same as on the picture. So chapter 4 is done. That's it for me. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and see you in the next video. Ciao bye!